Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm just going to be taking the derivative of both sides so I can get my dy dx in solving this problem. However, as you can see, y is stuck inside the argument of this natural log on the right hand side. So that means we have to do chain rule because this is a composite function and at the end of the day we will have dy dx on this side, we have dy dx on this side and with good algebra skills you can isolate dy dx and the main skill you need today is not just differentiation but algebra how to isolate terms so let's do it so the first thing we're going to do is just take the derivative of both sides okay so we're going to say d dx of y will be equal to d dx of ln 7x squared plus 5y squared. Okay, so now remember when you differentiate a function, a natural log function, what you get is 1 over the argument of that natural log function. And then you stop there unless the argument itself is another function. And as you can see, this is a function, actually a complicated function. So we have to use the chain rule. You keep going inside and inside until you're done differentiating everything. So right now we have on the left hand side, dy dx and on this side we're going to have if you differentiate ln of anything you're going to get 1 over that argument which is 7x squared plus 5y squared multiplied remember it's a chain rule now we're going to differentiate what's inside if you differentiate 7x squared you're going to get 14x and if you differentiate 5y squared you're going to get 10 y multiplied by dy dx. So this is more uh, a combination of chain rule and implicit differentiation. You'll get a lot of um, exercises like that. So now we can actually, can we rewrite this or make things a little bit better? But see, this is where your algebra skill will show up. Now, we need to take this guy away from here and take it here. So, the whole calculus knowledge you need has been applied in this line. Now that we're done, what you need to do is think of how to get this dy dx over to is subtracting or adding. At this point, we can't subtract or add because we have multiplication going on. Maybe we should rewrite this expression and see what this is going to look like. So, I'm going to write it this way, actually. I'm going to put this on top of this because this is multiplying this. So you're going to have 14x plus 10y dy dx over 7x squared plus 5y squared. That's our dy dx. If you have 2 plus 3 over 6, this is the same thing as 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6. You keep the same denominator, but you can split, split the numerator. Now, you can split the denominator. So remember, 6 over 2 plus 3 cannot be split into two expressions, well, based on what you know right now. So what you just want to do is just leave it. Your answer is 6 over 5. This is 5 over 6, but again, this is still 5 over 6. So that's the understanding you're going to use here and split this. So we're going to say that dy dx is equal to this expression, 14x over 7x squared plus 5y squared, plus then this over this, that's going to be 10y dy dx over 5, over, sorry, over 7x squared plus 5y squared. As you can notice, I retained the same denominator just like I did here, okay? You retain the same denominator. Don't split the denominator. You only split the numerator. And that's the only thing that's going to save us now and make the work a lot easier. So let's move on. So now we have three terms, okay? Two of the terms contain dy dx, so we can just collect them and we should be fine. In just in order to make this look more beautiful, we can rewrite it this way. We can say this is equal to 14x over 7x squared plus 5y squared 
plus this is going to be 10y over 7x squared plus 5y squared. We can just write the dy dx on the side. Okay? So you know that um, we can easily take it and factor it. So let's progress. Now we have dy dx, dy. Okay, dy dx is now, and if you subtract this term, you take it to this side, you're going to have minus 10y over 7x squared plus 5y squared is equal, sorry, dy dx, there's dy dx beside it, will be equal to what you have here, which is 14x over 7x squared plus 5 y squared. So now we can get our dy dx by isolating dy dx. Let's factor out dy dx. So you have dy dx into 1 minus 10y over 7x squared plus 5y squared is equal to 14x over 7x squared plus 5y squared. Now we just divide both sides by this. But before we do that, let's clean this up. Let's make it just one rational um, expression. Let's make it a rational term here. You have two terms inside. So let's use the least common denominator. And then we're going to have this here, subtracting this over that. So this is going to look like this. dy dx into, if you simplify this, it's going to become 7x squared plus 5 y squared minus 10y over 7x squared plus 5y squared. That's the expression you have. Nothing can subtract from anything, so this is just what you have. But it makes our work a lot easier and cleaner over 7x squared plus 5y squared. So now we can divide both sides by this. And remember, if you divide... Um, if you're dividing this side by this expression, it's the same thing as multiplying it by the reciprocal of this. So we're going to write this as dy dx will be equal to 14x over 7x squared plus 5y squared multiplied by the reciprocal of this. When it gets to the other side, it becomes 7x squared plus 5y squared over this expression, that's 7x squared plus 5y squared minus 10y. A, it's minus. Now, it looks like we're done. Look at what we get. This expression cancels this expression. Let's use this color. This cancels this. So what is left is just 14x divided by 7x squared plus 5y squared minus 10y. That's dy dx. Don't stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.